now they probably can as I'm having a bit of a connection error with my camera. The game has started against Leander and your Cedar Park Timberwolves. I'll get to the starting lineups as soon as I can. I've got a bit of an issue trying to get everything set up here. That's what's going on. You are not turned on because you're not plugged in. There's a lot of issues right here. It is extremely windy. The O2 pitch is coming to Molly Mitchell. Pops this one up, playable. That one's gonna land in fair territory. And Molly Mitchell's gonna be the leadoff runner on in the top of the first inning. So we should be getting a camera coming up and running here. It is so windy here, folks. I can't really understate how windy it is. My camera, I'm set up in the stands. And I'm trying to make sure everything's connected, everything is good to go. There we go. Should be able to see video now. Mitchell's at first base. And then I'll pull up my lineup as soon as I can. It's, I'll tell you how windy it is. You probably can already see this, but it's so windy that I'm in the stands and my camera won't stay still. Avery Evans. Up for Cedar Park, you can really hear the wind. 0-1 pitch is inside. Gonna face way down on, on that. So it is, it is insanely windy. As you can probably already tell, and I mentioned that one time. It's not gonna be the last time I mentioned it. You can see the flag on center field is whipping towards the left. So anything that carries out to left field is gonna be a adventure for fielders out there as they are shaded to the left out there. One one pitch to Avery Evans is on the outside corner for a strike. It's SJ Urin in for in the circle for the Lions. Pitch to Evans is back up the middle. That's going to get through for a base hit. Mitchell's going to stop at second base, and Evans is on board with a single. Correction, Evan Garcia is on board with a single. to Evans is popped up. Might be playable wind carrying that one and it won't be caught in foul territory. You probably can, wish you could see me right now, folks. I am sitting in the stands. I'm coming on to be here. It's gonna be very minimal. Me writing down scores, me writing down lineups. So I have to basically keep my hand on this camera and make sure that it doesn't move. Make sure nothing really moves around here. My lineup card might just fly out of my hands. One up pitch to Evans, shows bunt, pops the bunt up in foul territory. That one's going to get down. In foul grounds, 0-2 now to Evans. So Mitchell at second base, Garcia. Garcia at first. So some speed over at second base and at first base. Pitch is upstairs outside to Avery Evans. It's gonna be caught by the center field. Throwback over to second, it's gonna get away. Mitchell's gonna try to make a play over to third base. She's gonna get there. Garcia's gonna get over to second base. So a roundabout way of having a sacrifice. And trying to make sure that the wind isn't popping up on my crown mic. It's all the way down. You can tell just how bad that wind is and I'm 
I'll try not to mention it too much from here on out, folks. It is bad. Very bad to say. So runners at third, second and third. That's Garcia at second, Mitchell at third base for Madden Singleton. And she looks at a strike. Fans at no one pitch. Sorry, Singleton fans at no one pitch. Be really big for Cedar Park to bring home a couple runners here in the first inning. Swung on him, missed strike three, first strikeout for Leander. Second out of the inning, that'll bring up Izzy Robinson. down the line it might just get over the fence this time has been called Garcia is gonna lace up for cleats Mr. Robinson is upstairs outside stop with the first inning two away runners at second and third Cedar Park trying to put a crooked number on the board. 1-0 pitch to Robinson is in there for a strike. Robinson holds the bat high, waiting a 1-1 pitch. Swing on and foul back to the screen. It's 1-2. Winning a one two. Swung on and missed strike three. That's the final out of the inning. Second strike out for Leander. So after happening, our score Cedar Park, nothing. Leander coming up. Let me just say, coming on the air a little bit behind schedule, but we're able to at least get in the first pitch. Maybe not video wise, but audio wise. say good afternoon everybody open the bike meeting my name is Brian Reed as always I'll bring you Cedar Park softball last time out Cedar Park was able to hold their own against the number three team in the state against Eastview only allowing two runs and much of that was on errors but played a really great game against them. They have the work cut out for them even more here as they're going up against the number one team in the nation. Max Prep says they're number two, but according to everyone around here, they are the number one team in the nation, at the very least the number one team in the state. They're 20 and 0, the Leander Lions. Cedar Park will definitely have to work it out from here, but if they play like they played against Eastview and they've just slowly gotten better. After the game against Liberty Hill, they woke up just a little bit and they've played good enough to win against Glenn. They've played good enough to win against Eastview. It's just important to take that next step. Anyways, I'm trying to wait for the wind to die down just a little bit. It'll be Megan Lee to lead off for the Leander Lions. Defense for Cedar Park Temple will be Molly Mitchell at, at third base. Shortstop will be, at, will be Avery Evans. Izzy Robinson at second. And the first base will be Bella Acosta. 
Ball is hit up the middle. That's going to get through for a base hit. So Megan Lee, first pitch she sees from Madden Singleton, drives up the middle for a single. Bring up Bailey Brandon. I keep getting the defense for Cedar Park. It's Amber Wolf, Sully Boshin in center field, Natalie Mickus in right field. The Annika Oberg, your designated player tonight, Addison Parton in left field. And Evan Garcia, your catcher, and Madden Singleton in the circle. So Megan Lee at first base. First pitch is upstairs. Just swung on, foul back. Runner was on the move. And it goes off the, off the, uh, the backstop and right into Madden's glove. Never seen that before. One, one pitch. Floats one in there. It's one and two. And one of the things I heard the people talk about, and we've seen this being broadcast, the change up by Madden Singleton made some hitters look pretty silly. It fools them, they're out in front of it, and sometimes they just watch it go. One, two pitch, just swung on way out of the screen. That one might hit a car, and it rolls in between them, actually. It's very fortunate that that one didn't hit a car. I'm actually parked out there, so I'm kind of, every time the ball goes that direction, I'm gonna be a little bit worried. One, two. On the outside corner, throw down to second base. It gets away from Avery Evans, but able to keep it in front of her as Lee steals second. Center field, Bowley, Bosha going back. That one's going to be gone. Drives one to center field from over the head of Sole Bocha, and it's quickly, it's two to nothing. I apologize, the stream is a little bit choppy. Not really sure what I can do to fix it. Remix is going crazy on me. Is pitch misses outside. Marley Nices. Catcher steps in now. Back 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 to back hits given up. Mercy Park is everything's frozen on my end. I mean everything. <laughs> in there for a strike. And we fixed that issue. Two one pitch misses low, it's three balls, one strike. Marley is 
was in there for strike two as she thought it was ball four and started running down towards first base. Sometimes I think if you just preemptively make a run down towards first base, the umpire will just ring up a strike anyways. But good for Cedar Park, 3-2 pitch. And that one misses inside for ball four. First three pass given up by Madden Singleton. Third consecutive base runner. Now batting number 16, Delaney Brunker. Delaney Brunker will step in now, first baseman. Joe's bunt, pulls the bunt back, throw down to second base. That one's gonna be just a little bit wide. Second stolen base of the inning for the Leander Lions. Nice is at second base. One one pitch on the ground to first, but foul. Should have had a windscreen on my microphone. It would definitely help cut back on some of the wind noises. Brunker swings and misses. First strikeout for Singleton. First out of the inning. And that will bring up Lauren Trey Cheval. I'm sure I probably didn't get that one correct. I'm sure the PA man will assist me with that one. Now batting number 21, Lauren Ketrell. Ketrell. Thank you, PA man. Joe's bunt pulls the bunt back as they're going to seal third base. So Nice is now at third base. Catcher showing some speed on the base passes. Leander, they like to run. 1 0 pitch. That catches the outside corner. It's 1 and 1. Catches the outside corner. It's one and two now. One, two. Swung on and missed strike three. Second consecutive strikeout for Singleton. Second out of the inning. Now batting number two, Bella Ruff. So Bella Ruff will step in now. Baseline way out of play. I always like these because there's like these couple of kids here. They see a foul ball and they immediately get up and go after it like it's their job. Let's go ahead and say that it is. Why not? Kids having fun. So runner at third base or two way hitting bottom of the first pitch. The rough is way inside. Good stop there by Garcia. Not a lot of room between home plate and the backstop. So if one does get away, we've seen how it ricochets off the backstop. It might be what keeps the runner from coming home as we get some more softballs. Pitches throws a bit high to Singleton. Two and two. 
Leander leading Cedar Park two to nothing here in the bottom of the first inning, but Singleton trying to get out of the inning with only giving up a couple hits. Two two pitches back up the middle. Grandpa is the second base. Throws over to first in time for the final out of the inning. The defense for that one that was Izzy Robinson to Bella Acosta. So Leander gets a couple hits, including a two-run homer, a walk, but they failed to score any more runs. So we're gonna head to the top of the second inning with our score. Leander two, Cedar Park nothing. Now this is usually where I play one of my lovely spots, but unfortunately, being in the stands and being far away from everything, I don't have a spot mic and I don't really feel like getting up and going to grab it because I think my camera would just fly all over the place and that would get everybody a headache and no one wants to see that. So I do apologize for that. You just got to listen to the house music, the sounds of the wind. Give you a defense for the Leander Lions. It'll be Megan Lee in left field, Bailey Brandon in center field, Marley Newis playing catcher, Delaney Brucker playing first base. Designated player tonight is Lauren Trialt, Bella Ruff playing second base, Christina Edmondson playing third base, Paige McCall in right field. Madeline Schrader playing shortstop. And in the circle will be CJ, the SJ Urin. It'll be Addison Parton to lead things off here for the Timberwolves in the top of the second inning. Side corner. Pitch to Parton. Swung on and missed. 0 and 2. Bella Acosta on deck. Pitch. Takes one upstairs. It's one and two. Sorry, no two is one and two. One two. Popped up in fair territory, then rolls in foul territory. Be a bit unfortunate. That one had some topspin on it. That one. Potentially could have been a base hit for Parton. And as I mentioned before, back in the day, that would be a base hit. Crazy, but true. As Parton will get to see another pitch. Pitch from SJ. Now back again. the ground to third but foul. Parton a little bit out in front of that one was able to catch a piece of that. Here comes the one-two pitch to Addison Parton. Back of the middle and caught by the pitcher. Harden will make solid contact with that one, just right back to SJ. Villa Acosta will step in now. Oh, camera moved again. Swung up, foul up the third base. 
baseline. I like the idea, trying to go the other way with it. Get just a little bit more air onto that one, and it could carry out of here. Pitches way inside, almost hits Acosta. She spins out of the way. One, one. In there for a strike. Would have curved that one in there. One catches the inside corner, maybe a little bit inside. I'm gonna throw it around the horn. Second out of the inning. Third strikeout for SJ. Sole Boche will step up now. Swung on and missed. Boche hits one in the other right field. Second baseman over, makes the catch, and the outfield grass with a final out of the inning. One, two, three, top of the second inning. After one and a half, our score. Leander 2, Cedar Park nothing. Listen to Cedar Park softball on the Vipe Media Network. Keep it here. I don't have a spot mic once again, so these are the lovely sounds of, well, the wind. Actually, I'm not sure I can fix that. I'll be right back. And this is what I get for threatening to get up. My camera comes unplugged. So if you're watching the stream right now, you probably see a blank screen. I'm trying my best to get that fixed ASAP. There we go. All right, we're back up now. Bottom of the second inning here. Pitch is low. Christina Edmondson pops one up. Bosha reaches over in foul territory, makes the catch with the first out of the inning. Paige McCall will step up now, the right fielder. Number eight hitter for Leander. and misses at the first pitch. Oh, maybe a little bit inside. For one pitch, catches the outside corner.
Mitch McCall is swung on and missed, strike three. Third strikeout for Singleton, second out of the inning. They'll bring up the nine hole hitter, Madeline Schrader, freshman. One of only two freshmen on the squad for Leanders. Mostly everyone else is either a sophomore, but almost overwhelmingly a junior. Schrader shows bunt, gets the bunt down, and that one's going to smartly by Molly Mitchell. Instead of picking it up, trying to make the play over first base, just lets it roll. Very wise play there by Mitchell, the freshman. Let that one roll. Pitch to Strader, shows bunt again, and catches the outside corner. So Mitchell's really fired up down there. Mitchell has played well as of late. Getting starts at third base and at shortstop. 0-2 is swung on, but just caught a piece of that one. And it is gaining 0-2 against Strader. 0-2 pitch. Floats one upstairs, tried to fool her with a changeup. One, two. Swung on and missed. Balls dropped. Throw down the first base. It'll be in time to complete the strikeout. One, two, three, bottom of the second inning for the Timberwolves. We'll go to the top of the third. Our score, Leander two. Timberwolves nothing. Listening to Peter Parks up on the Vite Media Network. Now, I did say I was going to go get that spot cable, but when I tried to get up, my camera became unplugged. The stream went black. So let's just forget it ever happened. Oberg, Natalie Mikus, and Molly Mitchell, eight, nine, and one, do up for the Timberwolves. Both teams only with two hits overall. Only difference is, is that one of Meander's hits went over the fence. Oberg designated player tonight. She'll step up. And she looks at one outside. Once again, it'll be Oberg, Mikus, and Mitchell. Eight, nine, and one. someone in there for a strike. One, two. 
Swung on and missed, strike three. now for for Mitchell but oh, that's the flex player y'all got confused the camera came on flex again by the way so that's what's going on if you see just a black screen it is hanging on by a thread in there I'm not pointing this out in fact so I'm trying to gain it back up as soon as I possibly can in there for a strike. Right, if I move like any bit like to the right of where I'm sitting, that camera comes on plug. So I apologize for any technical problems. Mitchell waiting an 0-2 pitch. On the ground, but foul at the third baseline. Inside, good take there by Mitchell. As everyone thought that may have been strike three. It's the strike zone for the umpire. It's kind of like my waistline. It's just a little bit bigger in the middle. One, two. Popped up. Should be playable. Shortstop racing over. Still racing over. That one's going to land in fair territory. Mitchell's going to be oh, no, no, over to second base. Mitchell is just hitting it where they just can't reach it. I think the wind caught that one. So the second shortstop thought it's here, it's there, it's all the way over here now. So if you ever seen a bloop double, that's it. So Garcia will step in now. She has a base hit so far tonight. Mitchell has a couple. Garcia popped up and that one's going to land over everything. There's cars back there, so hope they're okay. Peter Park has had a bit of difficulties getting hits at runners in scoring position. They need one right here. A one pitch is swung out in front, Holder with a change up, it's 0-2 now. But as Mitchell has shown, just get one over to the left side, the wind will catch it and who knows what will happen. O2, in there for strike three, drops it, throw over to first base, Mitchell's gonna try to make a play over to third base and she'll get in there. Heads up base ring by Molly Mitchell. I'm hoping a throw may have gone over the third baseman's head. She might have had to play at home plate. Avery Evans, 0 for 1 tonight. She had a very loud out towards center field. Mitchell's got a lot of power in that bat. Slump as of late. Would love to see a big hit here on the ground. That's going to get on through for a base hit. Mitchell scores, and it's two to one. Leander. As Evans decides not to wait around, she swings with the first pitch she sees to bring home Molly Mitchell. And that goes also to the heads up base ring of Mitchell able to, on that loop hit she had, scamper on over to second on the strikeout, scamper on over to third base. Singleton looks someone in there for a strike.
checker swing, one and one. Two away here in the top of the third inning. Leander leading Cedar Park two to one. Cedar Park has out hit Leander so far. Leander's big hit coming off of a two run home run back in the first inning as Singleton fouled that one back the screen. It's one and two. Evans over at first base. So that one fouled it back. It's one and two once again. Evans is on the move. One, two. Popped up and out of play. Now it's going in over the stands. A pitch she can really drive and get a turn on it. One, two. Swung on and missed, strike three. Singleton goes out with a foul out of the inning, however, Cedar Park gets one on the board. After two and a half, they trail two to one. You're listening to Cedar Park Softball on the Vibe Media Network. Alrighty then, now I've turned my bass down. I'm gonna turn it a little bit more, a little bit, a bit more natural. I put a low cut on it though. The wind is so powerful, I just, I have to let you know that I'm turning my bass down on my thing. So my voice sounds a little bit more nasally than normal. That is why. I need to turn the gain down a little bit too. That might help. There we go. Yeah. Even with the windscreen on my microphone, the only thing I really could stop is if I had like a giant like panel right next to my head. Or if I was in the booth, but we are in a away game and the booth doesn't really have that much space up here, but they're very kind to let me set up here in the stands. Which gives me this wonderful view of the stadium, so the field, so I do appreciate them. First batter shows bunt, that is Megan Lee. She had a base hit on the first pitch that she saw back in the bottom of the second inning. And they came around to score on the home run. 1-0. Misses outside, a borderline pitch. A 2 1 pitch. That one misses outside. Three balls, one strike. <laughs> 3 1. That one's in there for a strike. I think Lee thought that that was ball four. When the wind's not blowing, it's actually quite nice out here. Feel the sun hitting your skin. 
wonderful. The wind's just strong. 3-2 pitches on the ground over the glove of Mitchell. Evans picks up, has no play over at first base. That's going to be an infield single for Lear, second hit of the ball game. made a very wide turn at first thinking that Lee was going to try to take third base. I think she would have had it pretty easily. And second baseman Robinson didn't make a throw back over the first base. Probably wise. He to keep the runner at bay over at second. So back to back singles. Only two people tonight for the Lions to have base hits. Nicest. She did walk, got all the way to third base, but was left stranded. Nice is on the outside corner. Gets all the way to the backstop. As that one just floated on Singleton, all the runners will advance up a base. So Lee's at third base, Brandon is at second base. It's a 1 1 count. the bunt down in for territory, throw it to home plate, she'll be safe. Set up to perfection. It's now three to one, Leander. step up. Runners at the corner, still no one away here in the bottom of the third inning. Leander leading three to one. Pitch to Brunker. He no play over at second as no one was covering. Everyone was advancing inward on the bunt. Which allowed Marley Newis to advance on over to second base. So runners at second and third now with still no one away. One count go to Brunker. Cedar Park trying to get out of the inning. Here comes the 0 1. Rolled and then I can say that was a strike. Interesting. That pitch was low. O 2 to Brunker. Upstairs. It's 1 and 2. Brandon at third base, Nuis over at second. One, two. Swung on and missed, strike three, a big first out of the inning. For the Timberwolves, and that'll bring up Lauren now batting for the Trey Alt. Number 21, Lauren Tetrell. 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 I will get it eventually.
swung on a miss. That went off of the mask. At first, I thought of Garcia. Went off the mask of the umpire. And folks, that's why they wear masks out there. So Tetral, the runners at second and third. Goes bunt, hits the bunt down there. McLeo over the first base. Run does score. As just wisely deciding instead of trying to make the play at home plate, just take the easy out. It's now four to one, Leander. But there's two away now. Bella Ruff will step up. base with two away. Pitch misses outside. Catcher Nuis over at third base. On the ground, right back to Singleton. Makes the play over the first in time. But the final out of the inning, however, Leander's gonna add two onto the board. They lead this one four to one after three. You're listening to Cedar Park Softball on the Vite Media Network. Keep it here. This game will be brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors for all the ways you love to play. Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. Gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. So we'll just say that the scorecard that I'm using, I actually did buy at Academy Sports and Outdoors. And that's usually where most people get there, so. Highly recommend going there, as well as if you're an umpire or a referee, you can buy all the gear at Academy Sports and Outdoors as well. So here we go in the top of the fourth inning. It'll be Izzy Robinson, Edison Parton, and Bella Acosta to lead things off for your Timberwolves. Cedar Park has base runners against Leander. Catches the outside corner. Oh, one. Checks her swing and takes one outside, one and one. On the first, first picks it up, attacks base himself, one away. So it's Delaney Brunker over at first base, and now bring up Addison Parton. Pitch 
Martin's popped up. Brunker will make the catch again. It's two away now. Quickly over to Brunker. And Bella Acosta will step up now. in the dirt. Looks like I could be fouled that. I should check this thing. Scoreboard says one and one. Let's check what the umpire says. It is 0 and 2. 0 2 pitch to Acosta is swung on in the air to left field. That one's floating, floating, and will make the catch in foul territory. One, two, three, top of the fourth inning. We're going to go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Our score, Leander four, Cedar Park one. Listen to Cedar Park softball on the Fight Media Network. Bottom of the fourth inning here at Leander High School. It'll be Christina Edmondson. Followed by Paige McCall and Madeline Strader. So 7 8 9 for the Lions. Edmondson pops one up. That one's going to land over the Leander dugout. Oh, one. Shows bunt, pulls the bunt back. Takes it outside. One and one. Robinson racing in, makes the catch, one away. Once again, the wind may have just touched that one just a touch. Paige McCall will step up. but I'm going to say just a little bit below the knees. Ball in the box. Singleton works fast. 1-0 pitch. Swung on and missed. Maybe foul tip just a touch. 1-1. One one. Side, two balls, one strike. Two 
two one. Now back it's two and two. Two two pitch. Catches the outside corner, strike three. Two lane now for Schrader. Just a reminder, our next broadcast will be Friday at one o'clock against Georgetown. And that one will be at Cedar Park High School. That pitch was Schrader's in there for a strike. And that game will also start at 1 p.m. Remember, this is spring break. Pitch to Strader, shows bunt, pulls the bunt back, takes it outside. So once again, on Bite Media, Cedar Park softball will play Georgetown at Cedar Park at 1 o'clock. One one, shows bunt, pulls the bunt back, no signal by the umpire. Two and one. Pitch shows bunt again, takes it outside. Three and one now. Three one pitch shows bunt, but foul. So full count now to Strader. Two away here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Payoff pitch. Popped up. Evans racing over and makes the catch for the final out of the inning. One, two, three, bottom of the fourth inning. We're gonna go to the top of the fifth. Our score, the Andrew Lions four, Cedar Park Timberwolves one. Listening to Cedar Park Softball on the Vite Media Network. Top of the fifth inning here at Leander High School. Cedar Park trailing the Lions four to one. It'll be Sole Bosha, Annika Oberg, and Molly Mitchell. Let me remind myself that Natalie Mikus is your flex player out and right. Rolls it in there. Bosha swings and misses at a 
on old bitch. One one. This is outside, two balls, one strike. up and out of play, two and two. Two, two pitch on the ground, back up mill, grabbed by the second base, throw over to first, they'll be not in time. Bosha beats out a really good play by the shortstop. And she gets on with an infield single. They'll bring up Annika Oberg. Pitch to Oberg, shows bunt, pops the bunt up. That'll be out of the reach of the catcher. One upstairs, one and one. One one rolls in there, two balls, one strike. Sole Boshe at first base in the top of the fifth. No one out. Cedar Park trailing four to one. One swung on and missed. It's two and two. Two two pitch. Swung on a pitch inside, able to catch a piece of it, carry it into the bullpen of Cedar Park. Mitchell on deck. Off pitch is in there for strike three. First out of the inning, and I'll bring up Molly Mitchell. She's two for two on some really wacky hits. Mitchell swings and fouls that one up the third baseline. Mitchell looking for an 0 1. Fouls it over the screen. And actually does land right in front of my car. Look at that. But curbside blocked it. So that's good. So Mitchell now waiting an 0-2 pitch. Just catch the piece of that one. She'll do it again.
two. In there for strike three. She can't believe it. Second out of the inning for the Ander Lions. And Evan Garcia will step up now. I thought I'd go to first base, not in time. They've been calling that pitch on the corner all game. Garcia up the middle, it'll be stopped by the second baseman, but Garcia will get on with her third hit of the night. The tying run now comes to the plate in Avery Evans. As he lined out to center field back in the first inning, struck out. He's 0 for 2. So like I mentioned, she's got a lot of power in that bat. Evans upstairs. She runners at first and second. And Avery Evans and Soleil Bosha. Avery Evans, Evan Garcia. Scratch that. 1 0 pitch to Evans. Fouls it back. It's 1 1. One pitch. Weekly cut on. It's one and two. And it's winning one two pitch. Here it comes. Swung on and missed. Strike three, and that will end the inning. Cedar Park gets two aboard, and they do not score. We're gonna go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Our score, Leander McCor, Cedar Park one. Listening to Cedar Park softball on the Vipe Media Network. Bottom of the fifth inning here at Leander High School. Cedar Park trailing four to one. The top of the order due up for the Lions. Megan Lee, Bailey Brandon, and Marley Nayes. Inside, it's one and zero. One zero pitch, 
upstairs way inside almost hits Lee. Lee has reached twice tonight. Top of the order doing the most damage. For the Lions. Two O pitch. Joe's bunt takes it upstairs. That's three outside the zone. pitch. Stairs outside, ball four. Second walk given up by Madden Singleton. So Bailey Brandon will step up now. She had that home run back in the first inning. Science, five outside the zone now for Singleton. One no pitch. Rolls it in there and be no throw down second base as Lee picks up another stolen back. And that one catches the zone. And Singleton had thrown six outside. Two-one pitch on the ground to second. Flips over to first in time. You say she was on the bag as Robinson made a good play there over to first. And Lee advances over to third base. Step in now, fouls one back. Lee over at third base. So one pitch, looks it outside. One and one. Joe's bunt, throw back over to third base, and she's gonna be safe at third. Initially, looked like he was gonna roll in and say he was out, but then gonna say no, she got back in time. The scoreboard says there's two outs, and Jamie wants to have a discussion on this one. Because it sure did look like the throw behind Lee may have gotten her. Looked like she was, he was getting ready to ring her up. Wait, the count would be two strikes on Marley. They're going to discuss this with the home plate umpire. I've rarely ever seen them overturn these kinds of things. So let's see what he says. He's going to keep the call as safe. Away in the inning, the counts one and two on Marley. One 
to the Marlins. Swung on, fouled off her helmet, looked like. Third base, here comes the one, two, misses outside. Now, I like the play as they're trying to bunt to break a home lead, which they've done already tonight. But when un unable to get the bunt down, lead was pretty far off the back, so I like the play from going behind her. Two, two pitches in the air to center field. That one's going back, that one's gonna get out of here. Catcher Marley drives one to dead center field. The second time tonight, Leander has driven one out of the ballpark. Another two run shot. They now lead six to one. has to think it's just another hit. Bronker will step in. She looks at one on the inside corner or outside corner. Oh one pitch popped up. Will stay on the infield. It will, it almost hits the umpire. In that case of the wind may have catching that one, but it's now 0-2. The umpire in this sport and every other sport where there is a referee is essentially just another part of the field. He tries to get out of the way best he can. But all he can do, so if it hits him, part of the field. 0-2 pitch to Brunker. Floats one on the outside corner. Molly Mitchell <laughs> there really thought that she was about to get rung up. One, two. On the ground to second. Evans up and then throws it over to first in time. And there's two away now. will step in now with two away. Swings on the first pitch. Racing back is Evans. Now racing in makes the catch for the final out of the inning. However, Leander had two more to the board and another two run home run. They lead six to one. We'll go to the top of the sixth inning. Our score, Leander six. Cedar Park one. Listening to Cedar Park softball on the Vipe Media Network. Park trailing the Leander Lions six to one here in the top of the sixth inning. Keep Madden Singleton to lead things off for them. And Singleton has pitched well in all the starts he's had on Vibe Media. Especially against Eastview and 
tonight. He's pitched relatively well. So we'll point to the scoreboard and I will say, well, there's just a few hits that go over the board. And I just look at it and say, it's just another hit. As he has played very well and that changeup has been working very well. It's been a really tough schedule for Cedar Park. Singleton swings back, foul on back of the screen. Having to face a very tough Glenn team. Liberty Hill as well, and the number three team in the state in Eastview, and now against the number one team in the nation, the Leander Lions. A rough schedule as he swings at a pitch inside, fouls back of the screen. I think she realized that. She swung at a pitch a little bit inside. Swung on that one, hit the umpire in the face. Second time tonight that's happened. winning an 0-2. Fouls it over the screen again. Cedar Park just trying to get some base runners. 0-2 pitch is fouled over the screen again. On the ground, shortstop has it. Long throw to first, the in time. And there's one away now for Izzy Robinson. Trying to cover up my microphone. It's not actually going to help out at all. Pitch to Robinson is inside, but they're going to call a strike. Oh, one. Foul back to the screen. It's 0 2. Upstairs. Top of the sixth inning, no one on, one out. Leander in front, six to one over the Timberwolves. One, two, misses outside, it's two and two. Two pitch up the first baseline, but foul. Two two pitch. That one misses. It's a full count now to Izzy Robinson.
Payoff pitch in the air and right to the second baseman. Makes the catch. There's two away. So Addison Harden will step up with two away here in the top of the sixth inning. Down to third. Third base number that throws it over to first. She drops it. Very tough play, especially throwing directly into the wind. As you can probably see when they throw it, there's not a lot of mustard on it. Bella Acosta will step up now. With a runner at first base, that's Addison Parton. That time it was me bumping the camera. Well, they got some duct tape or some super glue to get this thing down. It is uh, in there. I'm about to roll that one. There's you just see when she throws the ball back to the pitcher, it's just floating on him. She gets in the air to left field. Who knows what can happen? Easier said than done, obviously. Oh one pitch. Popped up over the screen will land into that transformer area. It's 0-2. on the ground but fouled once again so they Bosha on deck here's the pitch in there for strike three Rose Bella Acosta, and that's the final out of the inning. But after five and a half, our score, Cedar Park one, Leander six. Listen to Cedar Park Softball on the Bite Media Network. New pitcher for the Cedar Park Timberwolves here in the bottom of the sixth inning will be Heya Oberg to find any more defensive changes for the Timberwolves. So far, I haven't really seen much. She'd like to put Madden Singleton in at right field, but she is back in the dugout. And the only defensive change we're going to be seeing is a new pitcher, Heya Oberg, the twin sister of Annika Oberg. to pitch without the mask on. Bella Ro 
Cloud will lead things off. For the Lions. The Wolves try to keep this a five run game. Pitch misses outside. strong all night but is really picked up now. It's been cold. Not fun. In the air to center field. I'll get down for a base hit. So rough is on. For Prisma Edmondson. strike. Goldberg ready. Here's the pitch. On the ground. Mitchell has it come off of her face. Throw to first will be not in time, but it was a very strong throw she made. on now for Paige McCall. No correction, it'll be Taylor Boyer. Taylor Porter at the R. I thought it was another A. The R and the A, if you see my thing with the R and the A, kind of, R and the T kind of come together, but I'm wrong. So it'll be Taylor Porter. Two on with no one out. Pitch is low, gets away from Garcia. All the runners will advance. on and missed. I'm not sure if the wind is really swallowing up my words right now. I'm turning the bass all the way down, it just sounds funky, but it does stop the wind after all. 1-1. Gets away from Garcia. Doesn't know where it went. One run's going to come home and score. I think maybe she thought that was foul. Now 7-1, Leander. Another conversation in the circle. Still no one out here in the bottom of the sixth inning. pitch to Porter is low. It's three and one.
on the ground at third, but foul. It's a full count now to Porter. Off pitch is upstairs. Porter draws a walk. Madeline Strader will step up. Shows bunt, pulls the bunt back. There's going to let Porter take second base. Still no one out in the inning. Run already been, already has gone across. Shows bunt, but fouls it. Side. Pitches may just be going with the wind. Megan Lee has gotten on all the time she's been up tonight. Two one. Takes one outside again. It's three and one. Brandon on deck already has a home run tonight. And if Lee gets on, Brandon will be the winning run. Three-one pitch. That one's in there for a strike. Pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Lee goes down. Excuse me, not Lee. That was actually Stradler. I saw Lee on the on, on deck circle. Now Lee will step in now. You see Strader. I'm getting all kinds of confused right now. Now Lee is up. She has reached every time tonight. First pitch. Shows Bunn up the third baseline. Mitchell up with that. Throw back over to third base. Will be not in time. The bases will be loaded. Lynn is just really up there. So Bailey Brandon. The home run right here. To end this game. With one away here in the inning. Rhea Park trying to bring this one to the top of the seventh to give themselves an opportunity. back. Cedar Park trailing by six runs. You know, I said, you have a net bat, you have a chance. I just want a chance. 0 
one pitch. Rolls on the outside. Ball, one strike. One, one. On the outside again. Racing over, and that one's going to get down and go all the way to the wall. One run's going to score, two runs are going to score, and that's all that's going to score. Everyone had to hold up. It's now a nine to one ball game. And we'll see two base runners running into each other. And as the rule goes, if you do run past a base runner, you are automatically pulled down. The Marley nice this will step in now. One away. Looks on outside. Brandon came very close to hitting a walk-off Grand Slam. I personally have never seen a Grand Slam in person, and I'm glad that wasn't the time. one -oh pitch. Now it misses outside. It's two balls, no strikes. That one's going to be well foul, but it would have carried over the wall. So one on, sorry, one out, two runners on, winning run over at second base. So that one fouls it back. It's two and two. As some kids actually do that softball over the fence and they have to go retrieve it now. Two two pitch. On the ground, back up mail. That's going to get through for a base hit, and that's how this one will end tonight. Leander puts a five spot up in the bottom of the sixth inning to run rule the Cedar Park Timberwolves. They win this one by a final of 11 to 1. That will do it from us here at Leander High School. Cedar Park, they get one in the top of the third inning. And the number one team in the nation flexes its muscles, and they win 11 to one. So we'll be back Friday at Cedar Park High School. Hopefully be in the booth. It'll be a little bit less windy out there, and hopefully we can put one in the wind column for the Cedar Park Timberwolves. Like I said, though, it's been a very tough schedule for them so far. I mean, you have to go against the number three team in the state and then the number one team in the nation, and that's tough. That's tough to play those two games back to back. So we'll be back Friday against Georgetown at one o'clock at Cedar Park High School. 
Meander wins this one in six innings, 11 to one. And I'll catch y'all Friday. My name is Brian Reed reminding you to please wash your hands. Please wear a mask if you choose to go out. Stay safe and take care.